This is a great problem from analog electronics that appeared in the electrical engineering paper in 2023. And this is the statement from for the problem. The Zener diode in circuit has a breakdown voltage of 5 volts. The current gain beta of the transistor in the active region is 99. Ignore base to emitter voltage drop VBE. The current through the 20 ohm resistor in milliampere is dash. And the answer should be rounded off to two decimal places. This is the corresponding circuit. Now, there are certain things to note from this circuit. Number one, these sort of questions are comprising of concepts from two or three circuit elements. So one of them is a Zener diode. Another one is your bipolar junction transistor. So these are sort of combinational type questions. And if we look at the information that is given to us, so first of all, they have mentioned what is the breakdown voltage for the Zener diode. If it conducts in the reverse bias mode, it is equal to 5 volts. The current gain beta of the transistor is specified as 99. And then interestingly, they have mentioned that the base to emitter voltage drop should be ignored. So ignoring means we should take it to be equal to 0 volts. Now this is interesting because normally the base to emitter voltage drop is taken to be 0 0.7 volt or at least in the previous year's question in instrumentation, electrical as well as in EC, we have found that they are specifying the base to emitter voltage as 0 0.7 volt. Anyways, here it is where we want to work with VBE equal to 0 volt and then our objective is to find out what is the current that is flowing through this resistance. So the first thing in solving for circuits like this is to convert all the resistances in the same form. See that here this resistance is specified as 7 kilo ohms but the other two resistances are specified in ohms. So what we should do is to convert them into kilo ohm format. And so if we convert the resistors into kilo ohms, all the current flow through the circuit will be in milliampere. So the first thing is convert all resistances to kilo ohm, which means that this 10 ohms will become 0 0.01 kilo ohm and this 20 ohms will become 0 0.02 ohms. Second stuff is to revisit our knowledge of the current flow through a bipolar junction transistor and we are aware of this from our third semester course on analog circuits that IE which is the emitter current will be equal to summation of the base current IB and the collector current IC. And we also know that IC is equal to beta times IB where beta is the current gain. And hence IE is equal to 1 plus beta times IB. The next thing to consider here is and this is true for any Zener diode circuits where the supply voltage is in DC. So what we have to do is to identify whether this Zener diode has actually gone into its reverse conduction mode or not. So if the voltage drop across the Zener diode in reverse bias mode is less than its Zener breakdown voltage, the Zener diode will remain off or open. It has not yet moved into its reverse conduction mode. So the way to identify the state of the Zener diode is that you first of all open circuit the Zener diode from the circuit. So just eliminate this from the circuit and then try to find out what is the voltage drop across the cathode and anode terminal of the Zener diode. Now if we look at the circuit. Here is the source 25 volts. This is the current that flows into the base. So this is named as IB. And then the only place from where this current can appear is through this 7 kilo ohm resistance. And then note that 
this current should be beta times IB, which is the collector current, and therefore this is 99 times IB. Summation of these two becomes 100 times IB that flows through the emitter terminal. And because this is an open path, this 100 IB can only flow through this 0 0.02 kilo ohm resistance. So if we look at this particular loop and we apply KVL, it is easy to see that this is 100 times IB multiplied by 0 0.01 kilo ohms minus of VP plus 0 volt and this should equate to 0. So we have 0 0.01 understanding that this is in kilo ohms and if we specify IB to be in milliampere, so they should cancel out, kilo ohms and milliampere can cancel out and you have 0 0.01 multiplied by 100 IB minus of VP plus 0 volt should equal to 0 volt and therefore VP is equal to IB volt. So this is the value of VP and this is equal to IB volts. Remember that we are still trying to identify what should be the state of the zener diode, whether the zener diode will be open circuited or whether the zener diode can be replaced by a battery equivalent model with the plus terminal being at positive 5 volts with respect to the anode terminal. So proceeding forward, now again if we look at this circuit but see another loop, let us say we consider this loop, this is the loop to consider and we apply KVL. So we can write this as negative of 25 plus 7 times IB plus 0 volt plus 100 IB multiplied by 0 0.01 plus 100 IB multiplied by 0 0.02 and this should equal to 0. So this is that equation and if we do the little algebra, IB turns out to be 2.5 milliampere. Now remember that VP was equal to IB volts and therefore this VP is equal to 2.5 volts. But 2.5 volt is less than the Zener breakdown voltage of 5 volts. And therefore we are in a position where the Zener diode remains off. It has not moved into its reverse breakdown region. So with that sort of a Zener diode, what we have to do is to simply replace it with an open circuit as it is in this case. And therefore the current flow through this resistance is simply equal to 100 times IB. And we have determined IB to be equal to 2.5 milliampere. Therefore the current flow through that 20 ohms resistance is 100 times 2.5 milliampere which is 250 milliampere. So the answer to this problem is 250 milliampere. Now just to revisit the question, so what are the concepts that we found from here? One of the concept is that we need to remember the expression for the current flow through the BJT where IE is equal to IC plus IB and then IC is equal to beta IB. This is one relation. Second thing to note here is that we have used the idea of removing the Zener diode from the circuit and then trying to identify whether it is in reverse conduction mode or not. This is extremely critical and the procedure followed in solving this question for the Zener breakdown region state identification is something that you can also use for any other problem where a DC source is applied in a Zener diode circuit.